Hello again from Okie Dokie Farm. Um, we finally decided to take this step to get our um, tissue culture started. So I opened up, this kit comes with four of these. I opened up the multi kit for establishment and the multiplication. So what this guy's done, um, if you've seen any of his videos on YouTube, he uh, had it packaged differently on the video, but here he's combined everything in this nice little kit so that it's good for one liter and all you add is the water and the sugar. Um, so we'll get started here. Where's the sugar? On, uh, I gotta get a measure for the sugar. Two tablespoons. That's a tablespoon. Now none of this part is sterile because once we do this and we fill our jars, then that's gonna go into the pressure cooker and that's where it'll be sterilized. So right now you don't have to be sterile, just kind of, you know, a uh, clean work environment. We're using distilled water because just like in our hydroponics, we don't want it to add anything, um, any dissolved solids or chlorine or anything like that to this mix. So I'm just going to pour enough water to uh, get us started mixing. And then I'll top it off. once I get everything in here. Now I'm going to put the nutrients in first and put the gel in last. Actually I think I'm going to put the sugar in first because it may take longer to dissolve than everything else. So one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Now that gives the plant its energy. And we're going to stir that. Okay. almost completely dissolved and now we've got it completely dissolved. We're good. Now I'm going to use the uh, base medium with with vitamins. That's going to go in next. That's kind of clumpy. And I'm going to take a little bit of this water to rinse this out so that I know I have everything that it needs in there. I'm going to put that to the side. So let's stir that up. That dissolved pretty quickly. Okay, I'm learning with y'all. So according to the packet, I put this whole thing in there, and I'm assuming the PPM and everything is in this, and the vitamins. No way. Yeah, it doesn't smell like much at all. I'm going to attempt to pour into a teeny tiny little bottle. That went well. <laughs> Must be my day. Shake that up a little bit. I'm going to stir again because I can see a little bit hasn't dissolved. And we got to make sure everything is in solution. Because once the gel hits, 
it's going to have a harder time dissolving. So, I'm hoping that with this we can uh, bring back some of the vigor of uh, the strains that are out there. And that uh, we can bring out some hidden genetics in some of these strains that we have. See what they really are. Now this is the gelatin powder. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to stir this so it doesn't clump. Now this all makes enough for one liter and one liter will fill, we have 20 jars, it'll fill those 20 jars and um, couple other containers that we're going to try to propagate some stuff quickly. Okay, now I'm going to fill that up to one liter. That's it. And guess who didn't bring home their pH meter? So I gotta use these jackass papers. So let me dry the counter. I hate these strips. There's pH down and there's pH up. I try to never use pH down. You mean up? Or up, yeah. Stir. Get my little stupid thing. Now, 5-6 five, or 5-5 five, five is where they... Like to have it pH'd at. I'm trying to get the papers apart. Because they're little teenies. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should add some light on. Looks like it's closer to four than five. I hate that. Page up. So I'm just going to put a drop. <clears throat> what? Oh, there goes my phone. That looks like five. One more drop. I'm 
Actually, I have my meter. There we go, it's between five and six. Okay, so now what we do with this is we put it in the microwave for eight to ten minutes depending on the strength of your microwave. So we'll be back. We're going to do that until it's clear. So we'll be back.